Welcome to the Morning Download Podcast, your go-to resource for personal finance, economics, and market insights. In just eight minutes a day, we provide valuable information to help you make better money decisions. Don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter at https slash www.morningdownload, com subscribe. Let's dive right in. In today's episode, we'll cover investors' focus on U.S. GDP data, Tesla's losses, and giving money to adult children amid ongoing news from Boeing and Tesla, the U.S. economy surpassing expectations and showing resilience, decreasing inflation, increasing jobless claims, Apple's gains in China, the ECB keeping rates unchanged, the Turkish economy facing high rates and inflation, Tesla's loss in market value and competition from China, parents financially supporting adult children and its strain on retirement savings, and Peter Lynch's reminder for investors to focus on understanding the activities of the company behind each stock. The U.S. GDP for the final quarter of 2023 has exceeded expectations, growing at a rate of 3, 3% on an annualized basis. That's higher than the predicted 2%, which shows that the economy is pretty resilient. For the entire year, the country locked in a growth rate of 2, 5%. Consumer and government spending played a big part in keeping these numbers up, and it looks like inflation is actually going down. The annual core PCE price index increased by about 2, 7% compared to last year's 5. 9%. Now, what's really surprising is that the markets didn't have a huge reaction to this report. Stock futures gained slightly, but Treasury yields actually went down. It seems like the market is expecting a rate cut in May, even though the probability of a cut in March is at around 47. 4%. Looking ahead, analysts predict that spending might not be as robust this year, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're headed for a recession. However, there are some factors to consider like global tensions and upcoming elections, which could have an impact on the economy. In other news, Apple has claimed the top spot in China's smartphone market for the first time in 2023, which is a big deal. They've also announced some major changes for their apps in Europe, including allowing third-party app stores. Over in the financial world, the European Central Bank, ECB, decided to keep rates unchanged for now, closely watching how their policies affect prices. While they didn't hint at any cuts, the market is anticipating a decline in the second half of the year, with a projected one, 5% reduction in rates for 2024. On the flip side, things aren't looking great in Turkey. Interest rates there are really high, currently at 45%, and the Turkish lira has hit a record low against the USD. Inflation is sitting at a whopping 65%. Wow, yesterday was quite a rough day for Tesla. The electric car giant saw its market value take a hit, losing over $80 billion after posting poor earnings. Ouch! To make matters worse, the stock is down a staggering $210 billion since the beginning of the year and closed at its lowest level in years. The numbers are pretty grim. Tesla's stock plunged minus 12, 13% and closed at $182, 63. That means it's down more than 25% since the start of the year. In fact, It was the company's worst day in over three years. Yikes. One of the main culprits for Tesla's struggles is the rising competition from Chinese automakers. Elon Musk himself acknowledged that Chinese car companies are incredibly competitive, with potential for significant success outside of China. This has led Tesla to lower its prices multiple times to stay competitive. However, even with these price cuts, the company could face more challenges in the future. In fact, Europe is currently conducting an anti-dumping investigation on Chinese car imports due to the rising competition. This could potentially result in higher tariffs for those cars. Talk about adding insult to injury. But it's not all doom and gloom. Some analysts still hold hope for Tesla, predicting that the stock could double in the next two years. However, most agree that 2024 will be a difficult year for the company. The success of a new lower-cost vehicle, expected to be released in the coming years, and lower interest rates could play crucial roles in turning things around. So, while Tesla may be facing some tough times at the moment, there are still possibilities for a brighter future. Let's hope they can weather this storm and come out stronger on the other side. So, it turns out that a significant number of American parents are financially supporting their adult kids. According to a recent report, Around 65% of parents with children over the age of 18 provide them with some form of financial assistance. That's quite a hefty number if you ask me. In fact, for those parents who are supporting their kids, 
even beyond the age of 22, the average monthly amount comes out to be a whopping dollar 718. That's a lot of money. And unfortunately, many parents find themselves dipping into their hard earned retirement savings just to keep up with their child's lifestyle. It's no surprise then that about 33% of these parents feel the strain of this financial burden. They're having to make sacrifices and adjustments in order to support their kids. Interestingly, most parents in the U.S. actually believe that it's not their responsibility to financially support their children after the age of 24. But due to various circumstances, they often find themselves with no other option but to offer that support. In fact, around 43% of parents providing financial assistance to their adult children have no conditions attached to it. So what can you do if you find yourself in this situation? Well, it's definitely not easy to say no to your kids, but there are some steps you can take to ease the financial burden and ensure that your own financial standing remains strong. Firstly, make sure to include this financial support in your budget as an expense. Treat it like any other bill that needs to be paid. Secondly, keep a close eye on your retirement account. Around 20% of parents who support their adult children admit that they have to make changes to their retirement plan every few months in order to meet their financial goals. Thirdly, consider using rewards credit cards to earn points and save some money while you're at it. And lastly, don't forget the importance of teaching your kids about money and credit. Equip them with the knowledge and skills they need to manage their own finances responsibly. But perhaps the most crucial piece of advice is to know when to say no. It's important to find a balance between supporting your children and taking care of your own financial well-being. Today's quote of the day comes from Peter Lynch, a legendary investor. He said, behind every stock is a company. Find out what it's doing. Now let's break it down. When we invest in stocks, we often get caught up in the numbers and charts. But Lynch reminds us that at the core of every stock is an actual company. It's not just a random ticker symbol on a screen. So what does Lynch mean when he says, find out what it's doing? Well, he's emphasizing the importance of understanding the company's business. As investors, we should go beyond the stock price and dive into the company's operations, products, and strategies. We need to ask ourselves questions like, what are they selling? How are they different from their competitors? Are they growing or facing challenges? By understanding the company behind the stock, we can make informed investment decisions. We can analyze the potential risks and rewards more effectively. It's like peeling back the layers and truly getting to know what we're investing in. In this episode, we covered investors focusing on US GDP data, Tesla's losses, and giving money to adult children, along with insights from Peter Lynch on understanding company activities behind stocks. Thanks for tuning in to The Morning Download, your go-to podcast for personal finance, economics, and market insights in just eight minutes a day. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and sign up for our free newsletter at morningdownload.com slash subscribe.